Hello guys, uh, Fru here. Welcome to the demo today. Uh, in today's demo, we're going to be looking at this uh, really interesting project from the Apache uh, Software Foundation uh, called Superset. Uh, it was a very recent announcement um, and it seems pretty interesting. So what I want to do today is talk about the project really quick and overview of it and do a quick demonstration for us, do a setup and uh, a quick demonstration. Uh, so what is uh, Superset, Apache Superset? It's uh, part of the Apache family of products. And the name is a little bit de uh, deceiving because I thought it was something a little bit different than it actually is. So it's a modern data exploration and visualization tool from the Apache Foundation. And apparently, you can connect this to different uh, uh, data sources and do visualization on top, uh, which is a very big area. If you think about it, uh, BI and visualization and data exploration is a big area in the data ecosystem. So this is what the project is supposed to do. You can see the listing here, pretty new, hot off the press. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of active development uh, going on in the next uh, years to come. But who knows where this is going to go? Uh, that said, uh, we're going to go in today, uh, set this up, and uh, see what it looks like from a demo perspective. So you can see some visualizations in here done with Apache Superset. And uh, it seems pretty interesting. Uh, supported databases, uh, Snowflake, uh, Presto, and quite a bit. I'm not sure all of these are currently supported, but we're going to take a look. Uh, so uh, typically, we do our demos with Snowflake, and we can connect Snowflake uh, into uh, into this to see what it does. Now, uh, what you're going to do to set this all up is you want to go to get started. It seems pretty active on GitHub. So let's go ahead, get started over there. And the setup process was really easy, right? You just need uh, a couple of things. If you're just going to do a trial version of this, just clone this on your command, cd into the directory, launch that with uh, Docker Compose and you have an environment ready to go and you can log in with admin admin so i did that on this back side of my screen so i have that running it took literally three commands and you have that up and running so once you have that up and running we're going to log in and authenticate with the basic account provided which is admin just from a demo perspective and as we come in here let's not save that as we come in here what we can see is uh Again, it's such a new product that I think the UI would always change when I do these walkthroughs and the demos. I'm not really critical about the UI. What usually interests me is the concept and, and, and the functionality, or you might say the product market fit. Does it have a good product market fit to help solve problems for people? So don't the UI might not be where it is, but just think about the product market fit. So a couple of things here are dashboards, uh, data sources, and then charts, right? Which makes sense. You can set up your data sources, either uh, CSVs or data sets, uh, databases, and you can create charts, which will make sense. And then you can stitch out those charts into a dashboard. And there is some SQL editor in here that you can use. So if you want to use a SQL editor, uh, you certainly can. So let's look at the databases in here that we can connect. There is an example Postgres, but if you want to add a new database or a new data source, Let's click on database. Uh, you can select what you're going to add. Uh, and then this is where I said it's still very new. So I'm sure more databases will be coming and be active here. So there's Postgres. You can select that, put in the, the credentials, and you're all into your Postgres. If you're working with uh, Snowflake, which is what interests me here, I couldn't see that on this list. Maybe can you, can you search? And I couldn't search. So I'm not sure if it's just not uh, implemented yet or if that's still coming. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm sure uh, this is still fresh off the press. I'm sure people are working on getting Snowflake uh, available in here. But you can pick any of the databases, say MySQL as an example. If you have some data in MySQL, uh, connect that, authenticate, and you should have uh, your connection for the database. Now, if you have some uh, data sets, well, I believe data sets comes from databases. So that's what the data set is. You can save queries, what you expect, which you can use almost like a data set, and you can see your query history. So mine is all blank now because I haven't done a lot of work. But let's go into charts uh, in here. In the chart area, uh, you can build, I'm sure these are just sample charts that are available. Uh, you can uh, build charts uh, with uh, kind of pivots or visualization based on the data, the data sets that we have. 
So pretty slick. I think the UI seems pretty impressive. Just to go back here, it talked about having, uh, let's go back, just spatial support and some really uh, good visualization for um, plotting. Let's check investigation. So it does seem like there is some pretty uh, impressive uh, uh, visualization that's on top of this uh, for geospatial support for folks that have that. Um, let's go back here one more time. Oh, that's the UI. Let's go back. How do you go back? This is where you're just getting used to the UI. And I'm going to just back up the entire page. Uh, total item sold, relocation availability, ability, and you can see all of that visualization. So it seems to have some really interesting kind of modern looking visualization. And if you take all your visualizations or all your charts, I'm sure you can put that into an interesting uh, dashboard like the COVID vaccine dashboard that we have here with uh, basically having uh, graphs and uh, geolocation types of data. Can we drill in, in here? Uh, nope, you cannot. And again, I'm guessing the UI is pretty new. Uh, you can uh, see what the data is. You can force refresh this. Can you move this around? Uh, I'm sure if I was developing this, you can move this around. But just think about a, a quick BI tool for you to build your dashboards right on top of your uh, your databases or your data platforms that you have. And I'm guessing you can take this, save as, uh, and uh, copy dashboard URL, and you can share this with somebody by email. So uh, a collaborative uh, platform. And if you want just a SQL uh, editor, uh, you can choose your data source and then use this as your own SQL editor uh, here um, instead of using maybe your, the native editor from the platform. So Snowflake, as an example, has a, U, a UI editor. If you wanted to use this, you certainly uh, potentially could, depending on what your preferences are. All right, guys. So there you have it. Just a quick demo and setup of Superset. I, I, I might do some more uh, deep dive uh, demos of this. It does seem pretty uh, interesting. There's a space for tools like this, visualization. Uh, there's no, there's not a lot of value bringing data to one location if you cannot visualize and tell a story around it. So these tools, uh, this ecosystem definitely has uh, a, a good uh, a good place. And uh, Superset, hopefully it's a successful project for the folks that are working on it with the Apache Foundation. And, um, and that's what we have for today's video. So guys, so hopefully you found this valuable. Uh, if you want to try it out, just go ahead, try it out from your website uh, in Docker, or you can do a local install. Uh, this has been Fru. Uh, you have been awesome. I have been Fru. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next uh, demo.